Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Melissa Souza, and I am the Senior Wellness Coordinator in the Athletics and Recreation Department. And today on Be Well Live, we are going to be talking about taking a quick five minute break. Um, we are going to be talking about um, what the benefits are quickly and just some quick ideas to get you up moving and um, to start on the next uh, step or chapter in your day. So um, why do we take five minute breaks? Obviously it's to reset, to recharge, um, to feel um, as though we've kind of gone from maybe a drowsy feel to a clear head. Um, there's so many reasons why we should take little five minute mental breaks um, every day. So if you're not already incorporating them in your day, try to do them like every morning and afternoon. I would say like between your start of your day to lunch hour and then your lunch hour to your end of your day, just build in two. Best way to do it, get your phone out and set a time. So do an alarm that sets off and tells you, hey, it's time to take a little five minute break. Um, you will be surprised at how long five minutes actually is if you time the five minutes as well. So once your alarms go, alarm goes off, set your timer for five minutes and get moving. It's best to have a plan. So whether you move, it doesn't. you don't necessarily need to move, but get moving on your plan. So whatever it is that you choose to do for your five minute mental break, um, do it for the full five minutes and see it right through and see if you can, if you can notice the benefits of it. Again, you'll recharge, um, you will feel more energized and you'll be ready to start on the next part of your day. So what five minute ideas do we have? What can we do? Um, so a uh, guided meditation video is a great one. Um, obviously that'll just kind of keep your eyes, um, it'll take them away from that feeling of tiredness. I know that my eyes start to feel tired when I'm looking at screens for too long. So um, it'll help you to take your eyes away from your screen, closing your eyes um, without feeling tired because you're focusing on something else. So it clears your mind. Five minute meditation is a great one. A guided meditation is even better. Um, they walk you through it. The five minutes goes like that versus you just sitting there quietly and your brain starts to go. Um, and you start thinking about all the things you were working on anyway. So that's not necessarily helpful. So guided meditation on a video, hop onto YouTube. There's tons of them. I'm not even going to recommend any. It's totally based on your style and what you like. Um, look up five minute meditations and find one that you like and set it into your uh, timer um, for a quick little mental break. Um, body weight exercises are fabulous to get you up and moving. Obviously set a plan. So how do you plan that? You just write out what your plan is going to be. So five minutes of exercise can include, um, you know, your body weight squats, push ups. You can do jumping jacks to get your heart rate up. Um, quick, simple stand up videos, um, or uh, exercises, excuse me, are the easiest way um, and having them write, written down. So it's another one where if you don't have it planned in your head, like here's my little mini workout, write it down. Um, everything written down does actually help you to move and motivate you to actually get up and do it once that a little alarm goes off to give you that break. Um, step outside, even literally just opening the door, stepping outside. You don't need to take a walk. You can take a walk for five minutes. You'd be surprised too. It, it, you might be able to get around your block of your place. Um, but just stepping outside and taking 10 deep breaths, closing your eyes and focus on some mindfulness. Um, you'd be surprised again at how clear headed you'll feel after that. Outdoors does wonders for us. So taking your deep breath outside is more beneficial than just sitting there and taking your deep breaths. But if you can't get up from, from your workspace, if you really literally are in some space that you cannot move from, just close your eyes and take 10 deep breaths. That helps as well. Um, so it doesn't absolutely have to be outside. It's just you'll get that added boost of um, the outdoors, fresh air, nothing like it. Um, that's my favorite way to take a mental break for me is getting outside. Um, I usually just go in my backyard and throw uh, my dog his bone and he plays fetch and I throw it back and forth and he'd play for hours if we could. I set a little timer, five minutes, and we both got a nice needed little break in the backyard. So it's awesome. Um, just talking about five minute mental breaks here. And the next one is um, just simply taking your eyes away from what you're doing. Again, if you can't leave your desk um, and move, which is the best way to get some energy and pep in your step uh, for a five minute break, then just taking your gaze off of what you're doing. If that's a computer screen, if it's that you're doing some sort of writing um, or reading, just take your gaze away from your work. 
people watching is a great thing to do to kind of have your mind just focus on something else. So if you lift your eyes and gaze to someone walking down the street, out a window, um, try to, you can do a quick mindful uh, meditation practice in the sense that you're looking for um, five different things and you're naming them as like, that's a green tree and this is a uh, white snow pile and those things actually ground us so they're a great way to give us a little five minute mental break and again those are things that you don't even have to get up from your desk to do um and one of my other favorites is um, a dance party. So if I need the energy, if I start feeling sluggish, this afternoons are, are killer for me. And, you know, I don't want to pump my body necessarily full of caffeine to get that energy boost. So what can I do naturally? I get the music going. And the best thing, again, is to plan, plan, plan for these five minute breaks. Get the music going. Do a uh, playlist and get your favorite tunes on there for five minutes and just move your body. Jump around, dance it out. Um, huge stress reliever and again it'll just get you your energy your blood starts to flow the oxygen flows up to the brain it gives you um, that little needed boost for um, uh, setting you up for that next part of your day so uh, that would be one of my favorites I would say as well as it for movement um, get the music going again plan get a playlist and um, five minutes is all you need Finally, lastly, one of my suggestions is just doing a quick yoga video. So sometimes stretching at our desk, even literally like just sitting. I know I do this all the time. I'm constantly stretching out my shoulders. I heard a pop just there. So, you know, quit, even if you're just sitting and you're, and you're doing some stretches, just again, you're taking your gaze away from your work and you're moving. You're moving in some sort of way. Twisting does so much for our organs to twist and wring out um, our, you know, even these types of things at our desk. Even if that's all we can do, take five minutes, try not to pick up your phone and start scrolling and, and that that is a whole other ball game. I think we all know by now that that's not helping us focus on what we need to focus on during our day. Make that a different um, break. These That would not be what I would consider a five minute mental break. Take a break from the phone, take a break from your work and try one of those um, that I've just listed. I hope that they help you. Be well, stay safe, take care.